of, of this nail irritating the skin and then your skin is trying to protect itself and forming a very large granuloma, almost look like an extra toe here. Oh, it's way over here as you can see. It's really deep. It's, it's almost down to China. Pretty deep, huh? That, that's how far this is going. This is really deep. This must really hurt. Wow. So we're gonna go underneath the nail. And you said you said you had fungus in this nail, right? Yes. Yeah, so sometimes the fungus can cause this nail to be deformed and then it um, grows in because um, it's not a normal nail, so it can grow any direction and usually go deeper like that. Let's see, like this one. Three weeks now, it's right around this area, it's been infected, so I already numbed it, and now we put a little tourniquet on it, so now I'm gonna go here to get it freed up. Do you feel any of this, Sandon? No. No? Okay. So I go ahead, see how deep it is in there. It's got all the callus built up around it already, so we're gonna go in there and then free up the top, free up the bottom, like that. Okay, do you feel any of this? No. Okay. So we're gonna cut the nail through. So as you can see, young people get ingrown toenails too. So he's really brave, he's not feeling anything, so. He did really well with the injection as well. He's all around tough guy. Well, he's a surfer, so this is nothing for him. So there's a nail right there. Well, not a big piece, but it was in there. You can see right there. It's called, it's blood, it's called granuloma. It's a reaction of your skin to protect uh, itself. Uh, it's quite bloody, so I don't want to take too much of it, but I'm going to have to take some because it's going to get in the way of me doing the procedure. So I'm going to free this up a little bit underneath here and underneath here. Take a good part of the chunk off here, all the way down to the base of the... ...base of the nail. And then, grab it. Take this whole part out. This is a pretty good sized nail, as you can see. this beautiful pink nail off all the way down to the base of the nail I'm gonna pull this off boy that was a big one right there and the skin over it 
it's a big one as you can see it's all in there like that so that came off and then the skin needs to be removed because we want to, the area to drain out and we don't want any infection from there so all that is out and then I make sure that everything's out of there so it's really clean and nice what caused this problem? Uh, Therese, what caused it? The nail salon? Were they working on it? Was it ingrown a little bit? Mm -hmm. It yes. was? So they were working on it. So yes. probably they dug a little too much uh, at the nail salon. So that's what might have caused the problem. So I'm going to take the tourniquet off now. So blood's coming, so I'm going to be quick. And then make sure that this area is covered up. You see the blood coming. And then free up the nail on the top a little bit. I have to make it look nice, so I don't want to do too much. But I want to do it up to here where it kind of bends down. That's how far we need to do without uh, taking too much, which is going to make the nail look kind of not so pretty and which is not good. Especially when we have a pretty patient, we want to make sure that the toenail matches the uh, their look. So I'm freeing that up. As you can see, there, there are a lot of callus underneath it, so it's kind of hard to free it up. So I have to do it very carefully and methodically so that I'm not hurting the nail bed, which is right underneath this area. As you can see, it's really deep on this corner. So I'm getting down. As you can see, I'm kind of difficult to freeing that area up a little bit. As you can see, a lot of callus tissue underneath it. So... I'm just freeing that up a little bit more. Wow, this is really deep in there. I finally got it. So we free up underneath that and on top. Free up really good all the way to the bottom. This was really deep. I know it's not infected, but some of these nails are really deep and we don't want to leave anything behind. So we have to free up really well, which is what I just did. Now, I'm going to use a little nail clipper now to clip the nail right here and then go straight down. We want to make this very straight so then it looks good. Go all the way down to the base of the nail. We have to make sure that we get all the nails in the back as you can see. And then now we get a little we call the hemostat to take this nail and then all the way down and then we Flip it over like that, and then the whole nail comes out, as you can see. We see. Um, no, on that, on just the one side that's big. Oh, this one? Wow, yeah, this the, is big. The little one just started about a week ago. Oh, really? Now, these are called granuloma. This is a reaction of, of this nail irritating the skin, and then your skin is trying to protect itself and forming a very large granuloma, almost look like an extra toe here. But we need to remove this. I don't wanna, it gets really bloody if I, if I cut on the granuloma too much. So I'm just gonna take the uh, offending border of the nail out and then let it calm down. We may have to do an extra procedure later on to cut out all of this if it doesn't calm down, okay? Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, I, my job is to remove the offending nails and it's a little bloody and then make sure i don't do too much damage and then if i need to do an extra little procedure i may have to do that a little later on okay this is really in there obviously i can't see too well because it's bleeding a lot these granulomas are very bloody so i'm just freeing up the nail a little bit so Is that is that hurting or you're you're good? I'm good. Okay. Save some blood. <laughs> yeah, I've have I've seen Marcus for how long have I known you now? Many oh, years, huh? It's yeah, been I mean, fifteen years. Fifteen years, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been seeing you for all kinds of other problems, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. I may have to remove this whole thing whole now, but. We'll do a little bit at a time. I don't want to overdo it today because I'm going to not one of the nails 
here. It's a pretty big piece sitting in there that's causing that granuloma. And then we have the other side. My job is not to do too much. I want to do enough to make sure that I'm not going to irritate that area anymore, but I don't want to do too much either. Let me free that up a little bit more. Uh, and then, and then, and then you had your um, transplant, right? Yes. How's it? It's, it's actually. How's it going? Next, not next month. In two more months, it'll be four years. Four years already. Wow. Mm -hmm. So how how's that going? It's going good. I just uh, had a appointment. Mm -hmm. All my numbers are great. No, oh, really? You look great, by the way. Well, look. this this is helping me, uh, this toe. Once it gets fixed, I can ride my bike better again. Oh, okay. So that's good. It's a little bloody because we couldn't get a really good uh, tourniquet here because toe was so large, we couldn't get the tourniquet on top of that. But. It's a little hiding there. It's so deep in there. Let me take the other part out. There you go. And that's the other part.